Hey map builders, it's Josh with Map Effects, and I recently had a question about how to add roads and things like this into your city maps using the brushes that are included with the city map builder. So I thought I would just open up a map and just kind of walk you through my process real quick. So the first thing I want to do is above my main line art layer, I'm going to create a new layer above that. Make sure that the, the main brown that I'm using for all the line art is selected. And then in the city builder, under the folder that's labeled brushes, about midway down, you're going to see that there's a couple of double-sided roads as well as a single edge. And I'll explain the difference between those. But let's just start with this first one here. And I find that these double-edged brushes work well if you have kind of a longer road that you need to add in. So if we wanted to start here, we can kind of just go with the contour, the terrain, and loop this around until you come to the front of the building. And then we could draw another one over here. Just connect those up, and then I would just come in here and just erase away just to clean that up. But you can see this is really a simple kind of stippled pattern. And the thing is, you're just kind of giving the impression of a road. You're not, you don't want it to draw too much attention to it itself. So just keeping it simple is usually best. But now, how do you take a road and add it in here when you kind of have all these interconnected buildings? So that's where I like to use this single edge here. And you're kind of just want to start on one edge of the road. And it's okay if you pick your brush up. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. And then you can kind of connect it up with this tree. You can say that there's kind of a door back here. And bring this around until you connect it up at the front. Connect it to that front. And there's not necessarily a right or wrong on how to do this, really what you're looking at, in my mind, is you're kind of looking at entrances and where are the entrances of the buildings, and you're just kind of connecting them all together. So if you kind of have an entrance over here, we can loop it around back here, connect it there, there, And just kind of go around and you can see that you end up with a, a pretty natural looking road that's fairly organic and it's all you're doing is kind of most practically thinking how would what would be the shortest route from one building to the next um, everybody's been to the amusement parks where you have a, a well-worn path that cuts across um, like a, a patchy area of grass or something like that. And it's because people will always choose the path of least resistance. So you need to, for right or wrong, if they should walk across the grass or not, you should try to make it as simple as possible and try to figure out how to easily connect these paths all together. So you can just kind of continue for all these buildings until you eventually connect it up with this bridge here. Okay, so that's kind of step one. And then the next thing that you can do, oh, I realized I forgot this side. There we go. Next thing that you can do is if you want to add in a little bit of texture to just help this pop a little bit more, make it a little bit more interesting. I have the stone grit texture brush just below the single edge brush. And basically what this is, is it's a seamless rocky texture of kind of little hand-drawn rocks that I did that you can just kind of pepper in here and it'll just make it look like it's a kind of that classic dirt road and you don't need to worry about filling up the whole area again I'm just kind of dabbing it in in certain places just to add some texture So that, that's pretty much all you really would need to do to add in some roads. If you wanted to, if you were going to eventually color this map, um, you, you generally want to have the paths slightly lighter in color than the, the surrounding landscape so that they stand out a little bit more. So if you wanted to do something like that, you could come back in here, still in the brush panel, and go to the gritty shader brush. And I just selected a, a light tan that's lighter than the background color you can see. And I'll just make my brush a little bit smaller. Actually, that was too small. There we go. 
And you can just come in here and honestly, fairly messily, is that a word, messily? Loosely, I suppose, come in here and just kind of fill in this area. And that'll just kind of brighten up these paths a little bit. And you can be more heavy handed with it if you want. But again, these are, in this map, they're dirt paths. So you don't want it to be too perfectly even. It's okay that I'm not filling up all the spaces exactly perfectly. If anything, it's adding a little bit of texture to the map. And frankly, I'm trying to work quickly for this tutorial. So you can mess with it as much as you want, but this just kind of gives you the idea of what you can do to kind of help your paths to stand out more until you have something like that. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing your map.